Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unbagging my Ipsy bag. This just came in the mail and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. This is my February 2022 bag. I have to say, I've seen a lot of people unhappy with choice and with the products. I was so excited for this month. Like this is the happiest I've been in a while with Ipsy. So let's just get right into it. This is the bag. They kind of made it Valentine's Day themed. I absolutely love it that super cute and i love all the hearts it says in the little pamphlet there's fenty coming to ipsy black history month i guess the theme this month is full hearts all right so i'm going to show you guys what ipsy chose for me first what i've been doing guys is as soon as i see the spoilers for next month before ipsy like curates my bag i've been changing my preferences based on what i want that they're offering and showing as spoilers i went in and i changed my preference for like the eyeshadow palace to like this color so that I would hopefully get it. This is the Ditto Persephone palette. I hope I'm saying that right. This one just looked really, really extremely pretty in the photos. It's not as expensive as I thought I was going to be, but I've seen a lot of people saying that they don't like the formula. Hmm, we will see. This is what it looks like. I guess I can see what people mean. I'll do a few swatches of these, but the colors in the palette, they look kind of dry. The glitters, this one looks really pretty. It did not look like this shade though on the ipsy profile it's got like purple green a copper color i feel like the other one had more texture anyways let's do a few swatches of this all right so i see what people are saying so you swatch it this one definitely shows the glitter and the glitter is a little bit chunky and patchy for the one shade let's do this purple hmm yeah they are kind of patchy guys i'm a little bit disappointed the orange is really pretty it's not as vibrant as you would expect it swatching it like this looks so pretty guys this palette it looks a little bit different in person than the photos that they showed online i mean similar but it looks a bit different i'm not too impressed with this glitter shade it's just very very patchy the last palette i got from ipsy i forget the brand but that one actually the glitter swatched really nicely this one's really patchy but i guess we can play around with these another time and do a look with it and see yeah i'm not as impressed i thought it was going to be a lot prettier which is what a lot of other people have said so i feel the same way about this i feel like this palette may be good for somebody like just starting out with makeup who like color but even if you don't like color it comes out so light that you're not getting a crazy pigmented look i would say if you know your makeup and know formulas you're not going to be very happy with this it looks really 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 pretty but it doesn't swatch as pretty as it looks. The next product that Ipsy chose for me is by Cella, and this is the Essential Balm Miracle Multi-Use Oil. It's got six extracts, elderberry, evening primrose, juniper berry, rosemary, lavender, and blueberry. It is two ounces. This is a extremely interesting package. I have never seen a product, I feel like this long and skinny. I love the ingredients for this though. It looks really, really nice. The packaging is also really pretty too. This is great for the winter time, when you've got dry spots and dry areas and just want a little pick-me-up. I wonder if this would be good. I know some people can be very sensitive to essential oils. I wonder if this would be good around your nose when you're blowing your nose all the time with allergies or having, you know, a dry nose or whatever, but looks promising. I like it. I was extremely happy with my choices that Ipsy chose for me this month. Usually in the past, I've been kind of like, why are they choosing this stuff for me? I understand why they chose this for me. I absolutely love the choices that they pick. I'm a little bit disappointed with the eyeshadow palette just because it's not as hyped up as I thought it was going to be in person. And then I ended up choosing three things on my own. I have to say guys, I saw a lot of other people's choices and they weren't as good as mine, but this is the first month that I have not gotten up super crazy early to choose my Ipsy choices. I actually forgot by accident this month. So I chose it a little bit later in the day, I think around like noon or one. It was later and normally I'm up at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whenever they release it, because sometimes they release it a little bit early. But anyways, for the first category, I actually had a hard time choosing. I wish I took screenshots.
screenshots and could show you the choice options, but I was torn between a few of them for most of the categories this month. I was in between the Makeup Forever foundation and this 111 Skin Cleanser. This is the Cryo Pre-Activated Toning Cleanser. I've tried Cryo on my face before, just a brief treatment, and it was really nice. And I know Cryo can definitely help like your skin and all of that. So I was interested to see how this cleanser would work, if it would be cooling. I did not choose the makeup item, and I figured this is new too. And I think this is also featured in the Big Ipsy box. I didn't choose the makeup because it was my correct shade, like they got the shade perfect, but I also saw that there was only like two shades left to choose from because it's been in the Ipsy sales and everything for a really long time, and Ipsy sent me an expired product last month. So I'm just like on the fence. If I see something like so many times, I don't really want to buy it because I'm scared that it's expired. You never know. Some of them don't have expiration dates. Some do, some don't. And the last one I got expired in, I think it was November of last year and I just got it for my January bag, but it came super late. It only came like two weeks ago, about three months past the expiration date and I still got it. That's all I'm saying. But I'm excited to try this cleanser out. It retailed, it was a very high retail value as most 111 skin products are, but it looked interesting. The next product I chose from the second category is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It's got watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. I was torn with this category. There was another product that I was on the fence with. I can't remember what product it was though, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I remembered. I was just caught in by the watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. It just sounded really Really, really good. I have so many vitamin C serums, but I have seen this before. I don't know if it was in BoxyCharm or what, but I've heard good things about it and I was just caught into the ingredients. It looked like it had some nice stuff in there, so I really wanted to try it. I absolutely love this frosted glass packaging and I can't wait to try it out. And the final product that I chose is by Herbivore. This is their Emerald Hemp Seed and Adaptogens Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Today's video shout out where it is Emerald if you comment emerald down below in the comments first you'll get a shout out in my next video i normally don't go for oils but i changed my preferences this month because i wanted to try some herbivore products and if you get an oil and you don't like it for your face you can use it on your body too it was also interesting because i did notice on ipsy's site it said it retailed for like 30 40 bucks but i looked it up online and i think it retails for more than that so i was a little bit confused by that this is what it looks like and I love that it's more natural, it's a vegan brand. So I did get some clean stuff this month and I'm happy with it. I really liked the assortment that I got. I liked my choices this month. It was like a first for everything. I don't know about next month. We'll see about next month if I'm gonna keep it or not, but this is my bag for this month. Let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy bags down below. I am intrigued to see what you guys got, if you guys were happy or not. So I've seen a lot of people unhappy, but I was a big fan of the product and product choices this month. I have a smile on my face this month. <laughs> and I'm extremely satisfied because they actually sent all of my products this month. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it for next month, but I've got to look at the spoilers and I will keep you guys updated. Let me know what you guys got down below and I will see you guys in my next video. If today's video shout out goes out to Babyface. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.